The U.S. is losing an information war to alternative media outlets, including RT. That's the message from Hillary Clinton to Congress members who are questioning the State Department's $47 billion budget request for next year. And as RT's Ghani Chichikian reports, the U.S. Secretary of State says Washington needs to step up its propaganda efforts. Hillary Clinton was defending her department budget in Congress. She says a major reason the State Department needs money is because the U.S. is losing the information war. And among those media who are winning that war, Hillary Clinton named RT. I'll be very blunt in my assessment. Al Jazeera is winning. The Chinese have opened up a global English language and multi-language television network. The Russians have opened up an English language network. I've seen it in a few countries, and it's quite uh, instructive. Mrs. Clinton says uh, she's leading an effort to so spread much. U.S. propaganda right through new media, with Twitter feeds in Arabic and Farsi. But on global stage, the U.S. trails when it comes to television. She basically said the U.S. should step up propaganda efforts and get back, quote, in the game of doing, uh, quote, what we do best. Here is more. During the Cold War, we did a great job in getting America's message out. After the Berlin Wall fell, we said, okay, fine, enough of that. You know, we've done it, we're done. Um, and unfortunately, we are paying a big price for it. And our, our private media cannot fill that gap. In fact, our private media, particularly cultural <laughs> programming, often works at counter purposes to what we truly are as Americans and what our values are. I remember having an Afghan general tell me that uh, the only thing he thought about Americans is that all the men wrestled and the women walked around in bikinis because the only TV he ever saw was Baywatch and worldwide wrestling. Some five years ago, Western media outlets, including BBC and CNN, basically had a monopoly in the coverage of world news. Things have changed a lot since then. More and more viewers across the world tune into various foreign media to get a fresh take on the events. RT presence on YouTube, for example, is a real hit. Almost 300 million views. CNN has something like 3 million. Al Jazeera's coverage of the unrest in the Middle East and in North Africa has outdone the U.S. presentation this of the event. State Hillary Clinton basically confirmed it, saying that the U.S. is at war, at an information war with foreign media. Now the U.S. is being left behind in the global media race because the country isn't committed to freedom of speech. That's according to investigative journalist Danny Schechter. The United States feels on the defensive, in part because it can no longer monopolize not only the terms of, uh, you know, authority in these countries, but also the terms of the debate. There's other information out there. There are other uh, points of view. And those points of view are profoundly damaging to a country that believes that its point of view is the only point of view or should be the only point of view. So Hillary Clinton one day is the defending the internet. The next day, uh, the administration is proposing all kinds of regulations and ways to cut off the internet if possible. Uh, you know, there's no real commitment uh, to the kind of freedom of diverse speech that we really need if we're going to be in a democracy at home and in a, you know, a community of nations overseas. We can't dictate uh, what people believe anymore.